Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a psychic tarot reading, tuning into the day's energies, seeing what divine messages of guidance come through. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Wow. All right. Let's get to your reading. Okay, in the past, we have the Ten of Wands in reverse. Someone's carrying a burden. Someone's tired of carrying a burden. Someone's unburdening themselves. It feels like uh, had enough. Yeah, impatient. Temperance in reverse lost patience things are out of balance feels like i thought something would change i thought it would shift i'm tired of carrying all this load you get the the imagery of like a sherpa someone carrying more than their fair share carrying um energy that's not theirs and it's causing such an imbalance in the past and 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 also this energy i'm tired of this i'm tired of of doing more than my fair share okay there's a group three of cups in reverse and judgment in reverse feels like this is a very judgy group gossiping about you very critical of you they're projecting the, these burdens onto you in the past and it's causing this imbalance like it's your fault or at least this group they're very critical very nasty group anything we need to know more about this group in the past Could be family, could be a friend group, could be a work group. It's interesting. Whoever's in this group, there is someone who's got your back in the past. Could be a child. There is someone in the past who's a part of or is listening in a part of this very critical group they're very critical of you but this person does care for you it doesn't feel like they can do any it feels like they're witnessing what's going on what's happening it's a very sweet loving energy feels like there's a lot of comparisons they're judging you in this group there's a lack of loyalty it's not grounded in reality it doesn't feel like it's very realistic let's see if we can get some more information what's unconscious what's hidden in the past in this group is the wheel of fortune in reverse so this group is has a lot of karmic energy going on karmic is in lessons they're in lessons so they they this group puts out a lot of negative negativity they're very critical of you for sure, but it, it feels like you're not the only one. There's a lot of bad luck to be around this group. It feels very toxic. Wow, wow. Okay, what's also in the unconscious, what's hidden in the past, this group, 
very um, karmic. They have no luck. But also what's in the unconscious in the past is justice for a nine of pentacles. This feels like your energy around choices and partnerships. Feels like what you are learning about, there were some lessons that you were learning in the past about what's fair and what's not fair for you. Maybe learning how to be independent. This could be around a romantic relationship. There's, a, there's definitely a group here, toxic group. Maybe this is toxic family, a friend group. Yeah, I'm not getting any closer on that. Um, there's someone in the unconscious, someone who lacks empathy, someone that's really hard to walk away from in the past, despite feels like you're carrying the emotional burdens of this person that this person makes you do the heavy lifting in the relationship with someone cold calculating despite that hard to walk away from for whatever reasons maybe you've been with that person for a long time in the past whatever the reasons could be in an attachment style It feels like an emotional attachment. So it feels like even though there's nothing really there for you, it's still, it feels very hard to let go of this energy. I think part of what was hidden in the past it feels like there was a lesson that you needed to see that this is this isn't for you that you can't get justice out of this person and out of this group that despite how hard it is to walk away from this i get the feeling in the past there's um it's getting too burdensome at the point that I'm tuning into to carry on. Maybe this, um, either you've had it or they've like doubled down on burdening you and judging you to, to get you to leave the environment. It just feels like such a toxic environment very difficult what's also going on what's in view in the environment in the past was this bad boss the emperor in reverse so what people are seeing in the environment what people can perceive is someone being very controlling very manipulative wow Wow, wow. Uh, these cards fell on the floor when I started looking at this and the Emperor in Reverse came out again. So this is someone very toxic. Someone who needs to be in control in every aspect of their life. They need to be loved and adored. This person feels very delusional. They're very controlling, very manipulative. They need to be the boss, but they haven't done the work. They don't, they control the people in their environment, but they don't have any inner courage, any inner strength. Feels like they hide behind this very loving energy. Ugh. Feels like they, they put up this facade of I'm so nice, I'm so kind, I'm so loving. They're, they're hiding behind this, this loving image. And they're hiding behind a relationship in the past. 
They might have hid in your behind your energy. I feel like you elevated this person, you gave this person validated because it feels like you're loving, you're kind. And so by being in association with you, it feels like they're they're hiding in in the pretense of a loving relationship. They hide behind very loving, but behind the scenes. But people are seeing this in the past. So this isn't hidden. People are perceiving this. Maybe you're starting to perceive this as well, that this person is all about facades. Nobody's happy in this environment. No, There's no truth in this environment. There's no clarity. There's no happiness. That's how I think people are recognizing, like, how can someone who's just has the, these facades of, I'm such a loving, caring person, and I'm in a loving relationship, and but they, everything about their energy says that there's lies. They're not who they say they are. It's pretense. They hide behind these facades not liking that energy at all all right the present energy is the strength card we are in leo time as well it feels this feels like your energy that you have an in, a confidence about you you're feeling secure confident strong Feels like you faced a lot of fears in your life. And so that's what's made you strong. Confident. Wow, you look great. You're very attractive. It doesn't feel like you're out there flaunting things, but it, it, it's just the energy of that inner strength. You're attractive. You're attracting people. It doesn't feel like you're trying to. In a way, it feels like you're... A bit unreachable in this current energy anything what do we need to know let me switch cards anything else we need to know about what's happening in the present energy what would be the most helpful messages of guidance doesn't feel like there's anything so in this present energy what's the hidden what's the motivation is the moon in reverse things that were hidden are coming to light things in the unconscious and the subconscious are coming to light it feels like as the waters release drain out then what was hidden by the water can be seen emperor upright oh this is about real leadership so in the past we were looking at false leaders liars people who are in leadership positions that don't deserve those positions who lead by control and fear and manipulating using facades of maybe innocent people loving people and kind of using people as props so they can they they won't be seen they won't be perceived what's motivating the present energy is real leadership What's coming to light are true leaders, people who are upright. Feels like um, there's also messages, unwanted messages, 
Someone, someone doesn't want someone to get a message. Someone doesn't want someone to get a message because it'll, whatever this message is, it feels like it'll, it ruins someone's life. I know that feels exact, but that's what this feels like. It feels like someone is worried about someone getting a message, someone receiving a message, because if they, it feels like they're worried about you getting a message. Someone's worried you're going to get a message. Anything about this message? What's this message? What's this? Something's coming to light. Something that was hidden. Nine of Pentacles. Whatever this message is, it feels financial. It feels like it leads to your abundance. You being independent and having a lot of abundance and someone does not like someone doesn't want you to receive this message someone doesn't want you to get your happily ever after someone really doesn't just hates this message it feels like they they want to create chaos they're still trying to move you around they feel like this is someone who plays with people feels that they can move people around cause chaos maybe because this feels like this emperor emperor in reverse in your past they were able to cause chaos in your past so it feels like they're like we'll just do this again i'll just cause chaos do what i do manipulate things and make this unsuccessful for the viewer so they can't get their public success so someone's trying to block a message or manipulate people, manipulate the environment so you don't get your success. You're just in this strength and focusing on you. Queen of Wands, upright, focusing on whatever you're focusing on. The What's being seen in this present energy, that's what's hidden behind the scenes, you stepping into leadership, you being seen as a leader, as independent, as abundant, and someone, someone just can't have this. They, they don't, they, they don't want you to be happy. Somehow you being happy makes them very unhappy. What's being seen in the environment is the two of swords. Confusion, this or that thinking, black or white thinking. Someone, someone's very confused. Someone, what are they confused about? What's the confusion? They're very confused. This is the Ten of Wands in reverse again. That's where we started this reading in the past. Where you were very un you were very burdened and lost your patience with having to do all the lifting. Someone oh oh okay. The whoever this is in the in what's hidden, who a happiness hater doesn't want to see you happy, wants to try to involve themselves in your business to try to 
disrupt your success. It feels like they want to get you back into the state of confusion where you are responsible for doing the heavy lifting. You know, in the past when you were doing all the heavy lifting and in this Two of Swords energy, they could really manipulate you. And it feels like they want you to go back. They, they, want, they want to go back to that setup. They want you to go back. But you're in the Queen of Wands energy and strength card. But they want you to go back to, you know, you've transformed. That's over. It's death card. You've transformed this. That is an old version of you where you were, you felt responsible for others' emotions, doing the emotional labor, doing the heavy lifting. And I don't think this person has realized that you've transformed what's in, what's being seen. This person's a snake, seven of swords. It feels like the people in the environment are seeing this person. It feels like they're outing themselves. It doesn't even, it feels like you are just minding your business, focusing on whatever you're focusing on. It feels like there's a momentum to your success. And this person can feel that momentum. They've gotten a message. They've received a message that is unwanted and it makes them so unhappy because you'll be happy when you receive this message. So they wanna mess it up. But everybody's seeing this. It's all played out. It's played out. They're trying to play the same game they did in the past. And now, I, I think people might have um, agreed or agreed with them in the past. Yeah, because they're, they got everybody to criticize you. They talked, they convinced everyone that something is wrong with you. But now, in this present energy, they're looking deceptive, sneaky, a snake, snake energy. They're trying to steal something that's not theirs. You're no longer sad. You're no longer grieving. You're looking very abundant and successful, very... People are seeing this, that you, you're, you aren't grieving anymore. You've gotten through and you're looking very abundant. People are seeing this. It's very obvious that you have this, it, there's a lot of finances. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You're in this King of Pentacles energy. Happy, looks like a lot of happiness. Someone is having a hard time walking away from you. They can't let this go. They wanna bring injustice to you, to this situation. Who's the King of Swords? There's someone in the environment, someone who's seeing the truth about this, someone who's very smart, very clever, and there's a lot of communication. Feels like there's a lot of people talking about this. 
you are in the star energy your wishes are coming true you're looking very hopeful very abundant very healing and there's it feels like there are these people feels like everyone's talking about this in the environment about this snake that they can't just let this go that they this is played out that they're trying to put you back into two of swords and ten of wands in reverse but you're too big, you've expanded too much to go back into a, an environment, into a, a two of swords, 10 of wands in reverse. You're showing up in this current environment, emperor, nine of pentacles, strength card, queen of wands, the star card and king of pentacles. I'm not worried about you at all. It doesn't feel like, it feels like by you just doing you and focusing on you, that's the proof in the pudding. You don't have to tell people, see me this way, see me. Th they are seeing, because you just, you embody these, these energies. You, you're integrated. And someone just can't have it. And it, it, they're unmasking themselves by whatever plot, whatever, trying to be a snake again, trying to get you back, trying to cause injustice for you. And I think people are finally seeing, oh yeah, the, wow, wow, that's okay. It, somehow they, in the past, it was more convincing. Their story about you was more convincing. But in this current energy, it doesn't stand. The outcome is the magician. Feels like you're a master uh, manifester. Feels like you have, you're co-creating this outcome. What do we need to know about the outcome? What are the most important messages? Can you hear that snoring? That's my bulldog. <laughs> That's Chuck having a nice nap on the couch. Okay. Anything we need to know about the outcome? It doesn't feel like there's anything that you have to do about this. Stay stay grounded in your emotions. Be yourself. Yeah, I don't feel like there's any work that you know that's what's interesting too there's all these pentacles and uh but it doesn't feel like you're putting in work like you have to do something so it feels like you might be getting a windfall getting some type of abundance but you don't have to um work for it some type of payoff wow the emperor upright again it's about leadership. It's about you. It's a different kind of leadership. It's a heart-centered leadership. I think people are seeing an old style of leadership that's that's I'm the a tyrant, controlling, manipulative. I'm the boss. I say what and someone very using love hiding behind people and organizations that are upright so they can do the their deception in the shadows 
and it feels like you're manifesting this you being a leader a heart-based leader and it feels like the manipulation people who are manipulative are being seen being outed it feels like feels like you might be alone or isolated but there's all this love coming in or coming th or flowing through you you're very loving energy heart-based leader and there's this this love for you in the environment however the this this could very well be the toxic group in the past that was judging you making it impossible for you to stay in that environment it looks like they're insecure there's a lot of insecurities a lot of lack of confidence it feels like that group's falling apart they can't move on they're imploding whatever this group was in the past that was um, against you very critical of you it it feels like it's also coming out in the environment they're breaking apart they can't overcome obstacles they thought that they were going to receive a lot of blessings maybe a payoff for getting rid of you but instead they're imploding in this current energy it feels like things didn't work out the way they expected them to yeah they're very they're very critical they're still criticizing they're still trying to find who to blame The, the, um, this group is just very actively finger pointing and no one is taking any accountability it feels like people are making reckless um, actions impulsive feeling um, yeah, impatient, they're out of balance. They might be partying too much. They might be overindulging. It feels like they can't they can't pull you back into this. You're not interested. And there's just so much communication going on on uh, around how things didn't work. It feels like a total cluster honestly. And what's interesting is this reading, you're a part of the bigger picture here, but it doesn't feel like you have to do anything. Why this reading is coming in then is probably because you might be feeling, sensing intuitively these people energetically coming back into your energy. And you're like, my gosh, I thought I got rid of this. Why? It, it, and so just if you've been feeling a lot of energy, a lot of pull on your energy, a lot of projections onto you, a lot of telepathic messages, if people, your person from the past has been like trying to send messages to kind of like entice you to get in, uh, then that's this is what this is about hopefully that brings some clarity it looks like the outcome is all about you about you stepping into leadership this is something that you've manifested and there's a lot of new loving energy here so I hope that helps take care bye